All barricades erected. Area locked down. What is going on, the directors of gaming? It is your boy X Doctor Doom here, bringing you another breakdown video of Modern Warfare 3 using the Scar. And this is gonna be more like a double fucking breakdown. I'm about to double breakdown your mind. It's like a breakdown within a breakdown. Breakdownception. This is using the Scar L. Uh, free for all, obviously, because I, I was actually really contemplating because I was having a lot of trouble playing earlier. I was like, well, maybe I should do a breakdown in team deathmatch, but that doesn't really work out that well because you really don't get that many kills, and you end up just looking like an idiot. Like, yeah, you can get kills in team deathmatch. So free for all, Scar L, and my secondary is the uh, what is it fucking called? Like the FMG or the Fumiga or the the one that you like pull out. It's like a transformer. It's like. <laughs> Uh, that's the gun that I'm using for my secondary. The reason why I say it's a double breakdown because I get a lot of kills with my scar and then the second I run out of ammo I just start pooping on kids with the transformer gun and it's just really awesome and you're probably gonna be like What? How did, how did you rave so hard with those guns? What? And I'm gonna tell you how I rave so hard with those guns because I'm about to give you the motherfucking stats. We are gonna start the scar and I'm using a different graphic this time I found from callofduty.wikia.com where I've been getting a lot of good information from. Scar L, the damage about 35 to 20. Um, I'm assuming that's on a rating of awesome. Uh, magazine size, 30 rounds to 45 rounds with extended mags. Unlocked at level 6 for multiplayer, level 5 for survival mode. Cost in survival mode is about 3,000. If you play survival mode, not a lot of people do, I think it's pretty cool. The starting ammunition is 30 plus 60 for multiplayer, what? Maximum ammunition is 180 for the MP. Reload time, 2.4 seconds loaded, 2.68 seconds unloaded. Rate of fire, 750 RPM. Recoil is low, fire mode, automatic. And this is actually a really good gun, I like it. I think it's pretty fucking awesome to use if you ask me. I mean... Who doesn't like just, you know, absolutely pooping on people? Like, it's just fun, and that's what you do with the Scaro. You just poop all over people. So, you know, take your pants down and poop. <laughs> now, on to the FMG9, aka Transformer Gun. Damage is 40 to 20 in multiplayer. Magazine size 33 rounds. Single player 36 rounds in multiplayer. Unlocked at level 2 for multiplayer. And if you want to use it in survival mode, well, you're going to be playing for a while because you need to get it at level 37. Cost in SM is $1,500. Starting ammunition is 36 plus 108 in multiplayer. Maximum ammunition in multiplayer is 288. Reload time, 2.73 seconds loaded. 3.3 seconds unloaded. Rate of fire, 134 RPM. 134, I'm an idiot. 1,034 RPM. Recoil is very high. It has a very low penetration. You're not going to be giving her anything good with this. And your fire mode is automatic. I'm just kidding. This is actually a really good uh, secondary weapon. I'm not going to lie. I, I think it's really fucking awesome to use. Um, I, I always see people running around with it. And I'm like, why are you using that gun? Because the day that... MW3 was releasing, I was at a uh, Walmart tournament because my girlfriend works in the electronics section. She's like, hey, we're having a tournament at Walmart. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll go out and check the game. So me and my friend went out there, and uh, that's, like, everyone was using that gun. But, you know, without, like, quick draw and stuff, it takes a little bit. It To me, it takes too long to load. Like like I said, the reason I call it the Transformer gun is when you pull it out, it's like, and that motion just takes too long for me to want to use it. So I kind of was like, eh, but you know, when you put quick draw on and stuff like that, it, it makes it a little bit easier to whip it out and give her some pleasure. By p giving her pleasure, I mean the enemy. And by pleasure, I mean killing them. But I'm using it without any sights. I used to always hate iron sights, but now I'm fucking loving them. So if I can give a final rating or my rating or final thought, whatever the hell I called it in the last video, I call it a may fucking gusta and uh it's fucking awesome i don't see why you wouldn't want to use this gun because like i said it's fucking awesome so <laughs> definitely use it thank you guys so much though for watching actually what i did want to ask you guys was uh i got a couple you know dislikes on the last few videos and i i mean you're obviously entitled to your opinion if you don't like the video go ahead and dislike it but um you know make sure to leave in the comments you know what to improve on uh, I see a lot of people hating on, uh, you know, T-Dog commentators and stuff like that. And instead of just saying, you know, 
hey, you fucking suck, you're a piece of shit, find better commentators, why not, you know, leave some criticism on, you know, how to become better or what to improve on? And, you know, like, for instance, if you dislike the gun because you didn't like the gun, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. But, you know, maybe leave in a comment like, hey, this gun is fucking terrible because of blah, 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 blah. And, <laughs> and, you know, just let's let's try to make a better YouTube out there. And I'm, I'm waiting to see troll responses like, oh, hey, what are you, gay boy? Or, hey, you're gay. Or, hey, this guy's gay. But, you know, I really don't care. I, I make these videos for fun. And I, I thought, you know, a breakdown series would be kind of cool. And... You know, if you guys want me to present the videos in a different way, if you want me to present stats, shit like that differently, leave in a comment what the fuck you want me to improve on, and I will definitely consider it and probably not do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll definitely fix it for next video. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Directors of Gaming, and go ahead and, you know, if you want, you can stop by my channel, The Champions, which is actually a co-run channel, and for... Just to let you guys know, because I, I had a some I had somebody message me, like, "Hey man, you shouldn't have an annotation to your channel on your videos because you are not really cool, because you don't do only Call of Duty videos." On my channel, it is co-run by me and my friend. It, we are we we just always are awesome, and you know, we like to just party. So. <laughs> We post a lot of random stuff, so if you guys want to, go ahead and stop by, subscribe, and I know I'm not really talking about the gun anymore, but just so I can end this video, kind of like a breakdown video, this gun's fucking awesome. It, it feels really nice to shoot compared to the other SCAR in Modern Warfare 2. I think this is a vast improvement. I really like this gun. Like, uh, the recoil really is not bad at all. It, it, you, you can be, you'll be able to get kills very easily, and with the, with the FM Transformer gun, you're gonna be able to, like I said, use this combo in a free-for-all. Tell me if you guys like it. Tell me what you guys put on your SCAR and what you put on your Transformer gun. And, um, you know, if you want, post a video response of you winning a free-for-all match. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hate, troll. Do whatever it is you do. And I will see you guys next episode. Yeah!